Oh, we have Vila over today. Who uh, we were doing a workshop. You were doing a workshop over here. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, for Midi Madness and a few DIY kids from Sodo Club. So we came here yesterday uh, to do a workshop. The people build all kinds of different kits. Yeah. And one of them is also for the museum. So we're gonna build that today. Yes. Yeah. So Ben has actually already put it together. Yes, do you know where it is? Well, the Midi Madness Midi yeah. controller. The one that you sold it yesterday. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, let's, go yeah. let's go and find it. <laughs> where is it? Yeah, that's the question. Where has he put it? So you got it right here. There you go. So what is it? What is this? So Dilla. Midi Madness is a small DIY controller that I made together with Michelle, a friend of mine. And we wanted to create a new touch interface that you could connect to MIDI Bluetooth, uh, but also hardware MIDI DIN on the bottom. And then standalone, it's a beep synthesizer. So nice. translate your touch, uh, capacitive touch to sound or MIDI in that case. That's cool. So yeah. you've already, you've had a plan with this actually. Yeah. And you've brought these along. Yes. So we're going to actually wire it into the museum yeah. with what's in here. Are you going to show us what's, what have you done with it? <laughs> What's inside? <laughs> From uh, friends at home called the uh, Uitgevonden Voorwerp and Uitvindeschilde. They have a plasma cutter and we have a plasma cut uh, Furbies. Yeah. So they're also going to be very uh, conductive to connect to the MIDI uh, madness maker. And there's eight of them, of course, because there's eight touch pads. So we're going to give it to one. And then we have eight small Furbies that we're going to nice. connect to the kit. That's and cool. Yeah. So we, um, we're we gonna put them somewhere so we can wind this in. I've just realized this also needs a speaker as well, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have to figure out a speaker. Might not get that done today, but we'll get it all wired in yeah. into headphones at least. It's headphones, is it? Yeah, or is it? Headphone, uh, so it's headphones, ah. so it's just audio output or MIDI. We might do headphones yeah. for this. Right, right. anyway, you ha we have a plan of where to put yeah. this maybe. Yeah. So let's go and have a look, uh, thinking where we're gonna shove it. So, is there something in there? Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. You need to be... Okay, right. Oh, there's a car. Okay. <laughs> right, so you were suggesting to put it above the Pluby right here, right? Yeah, I think it's nice. So there's already a backboard on there. Yeah, exactly. I, thought, I can't remember why I put this backboard here in the first place, but it's handy. Maybe it was yeah. <laughs> Maybe you know the Furbies were coming. <laughs> yeah, we knew the Furbies were coming. So um, what we need to do is work out how to mount them. Uh, should we use screws? <laughs> Upside down Furby. Yeah, screws or Velcro? Mm. Oh, Ooh, nice oh we could do a Velcro yeah. and then we could just like Velcro in like weird yeah. positions. Uh, so should we just go yeah, Velcro? Yeah. Like you can move yeah. The yeah. And how are we going to wire them? Are we using just wire? Uh, yeah, so wire and it's a like a bolt. Yeah, and what's the plan? Connector and maybe with a bolt. Uh, so we use bolts. Yeah. Why don't you put it there for the children? Yeah, you're right. That is a little bit too tall. So we'll do it underneath the bullfrog. That's a very good idea, Johnny. Very good. Let's do that. Bolting the furbs with the extra hex nut and then adding the wires so that we can connect it to the mini mattress later. Cool. Uh -huh. Good cow. Plenty of them. And then a bolt, a little saw, and a fine little solder. Right, so what are you doing? You're wiring? Yeah, looking at the spot where to put the microcontroller. So we wired it up for power and then the Furbies will be connected to the spots over here. Cool. And then we use the standalone audio output to run it through the ergosins. Here's the wire. Yeah. Go on, see if it makes a noise now. Yeah. It's going in the mixer. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Wire it into the mixer, ah. do we? Yeah, and then maybe through the effects. Oh god, I'm confused. Nice. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah, we could go through the. It's actually a nice height because as many girls as kids, they can play and play on the wall. Down yeah. There. So this will be like, yeah, so we're going to have it plugged in. Cool. Yeah. Right, let's get some Velcro and get some Furbies. Yes, we're adding the Velcro to the Furbies. So we stick it back here. And then we also add Velcro on the wall. There we Ooh. go. Cool. And then we need to put MIDI Madness with, on the wall as yeah, well. And then solder the wires there. Cool. So first stick it up and solder. I think so. So we're going to attach the MIDI Madness. Anyway. Okay, let's go. Feed some solder. Thank you. 
Where do we put this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put it there. Put a little more. Make sure. So let's see. We'll peel this off for number four. So this is gonna be the fourth uh, touchpad. So Mini Madness is a small portable controller and it translates touch data into standalone sound, but also MIDI over DIN plug. So all these Furbies are made from aluminium, uh, used by a plasma cutter. And then if you touch it, uh, it starts to trigger the synth inside. It's very small beeps. Yeah, it's got capacitive touch. Nice. Yeah. And how many people yes. built, there was multiple people that built them at the workshop yesterday, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, I think six people built six them Six people? Yesterday. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Right, anyway, let's plonk it on. Number, number four. Ho, ho, ho. A bit of a design change now. Yeah. So the MIDI madness is going in the middle. We'll do some uh, wire organization a little later on. Yeah. But for now, let's get it, let's get it plonked in. You say it's got MIDI. Yeah, so there is, uh, I didn't do the MIDI plug. Uh, the DIN plug with five pins because it's quite annoyingly big and it yeah. always falls off the PCB a lot. So there's MIDI jack here, and if you have a MIDI jack to MIDI DIN converter, it can work. So you're saying yeah. that, yeah, it could play the organ if yeah, we wanted it, can it play to. The organ, for sure. And then maybe you could uh, control the Furby organ. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. All the owls. Furbyception. All the owls. Or whatever. I mean, furbies are sort of owls. Yeah, do the Teletubbies have the belly with the. Is it also cap capacitive touch? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Horizontal sleeping face. Ah, he died. <laughs> oh, choices. Furby choices. Yeah. Screaming for a standard. Rolling up the edges. Edges of my life. Yeah, so the power, uh, when the soldier and I is done, we'll use the power for the soldier. Last one. Hmm. Don't do a little tinny tinny. And we have power. So we power it with the USB cable. Yeah. And then connect it to the Erica Sins. <laughs> oh, it seems Alright, so I'm changing the sensitivity in the code. Uh, that you can also find online. There's this threshold which uh, determines like the sensitivity of the touchpad and because they're quite big uh, aluminium furbies, maybe it's just triggering too much. So it could be like an antenna. Okay, let's put something nice. Connecting the MIDI cable, so it's a MIDI Type A cable. Am I right? I'm thinking you've just plugged it into Joan's organ, yes. right? Yeah, we plugged it from here with the cable to Joan's organ, so now we can control the organ. <laughs> <laughs> to the Midi Madness, how do they find it? Uh, they can go to the website, so assetsolderclub.com and then you can find it under DIY kits. And uh, we're not really selling it through the website, but mostly through workshops. But yeah. if you're interested, you can find all the documentation there and code and everything. Yeah. Thank you very much, Viola. Thank you so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Uh... We've also got the audio and the Midi going. Yeah. <laughs>